In Court on TKO8 Television is brought to you by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138.
It appears now, Mr. Hennings, it also appears in case 2010-55 uh, or 53, excuse me, uh, your for arraignment on uh, allegations of violation of the terms and conditions of your probation. The allegations include uh, an allegation that in March of 2016, you were in possession of controlled substances. Uh, yeah, also in March of, which in violation of the law, and then that same charge uh, is also a violation of the requirement of your terms and condition of probation that you uh, not be in possession of controlled substance, drugs, or alcohol. Um, there's also an allegation that to uh, fail to report. Uh, yes, sir. I was uh, I was incarcerated in Newton County, held for a container in Oklahoma. Right. So I, I failed to report there, but uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't make it. All right, and then finally, it appears that you're, there, there are further allegations about what just what you're saying. That is the firearms charge in Newton County, and uh, the Oklahoma uh, allegation with regard to uh, drug violations in Oklahoma. Those are the uh, those are the allegations that are contained in the petition uh, to revoke on. Uh, each of these cases uh, on the allegations contained in the petition, how do you now plead? Not guilty. All right. Your plea of not guilty was, is noted on the record. The, uh, on the new charge, it's on the Division Three docket. I'm going to set it down for you to reappear in, in uh, in front of Judge Putman on May 20th. Uh, for, to get on Judge Putman's uh, scheduling order. Well, just a second, I'll look. Um, and um, on the rev revocation case, because I'm the one who put you on probation, I think that uh, that case will, you'll have to appear in front of this court. I'm going to set it down for hearing on the revocation on uh, May 27th. The uh, 2016-133, the arrest day listed is, is uh, March 14th, 2016. The disposition on these matters is in, on the new charges. You'll appear before Judge, pa Judge uh, Putman on May 20th. On uh, the uh, other case, the revocation case, you'll be back in front of this court on May 27th for a hearing on the uh, for a uh, hearing on the revocation. You need, to, you need to go ahead and get your arrangements finalized with your attorney. Uh, yes, sir. I was, uh, I'll, I'll, actually, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll speak to my attorney. All right. You may be excused. Thank you.
Even the best of us make mistakes. So when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Crystal clear mountain streams, river rapids, and rolling hills with endless valleys. The beauty of the Ozarks we often take for granted. At Magnus Toyota, we never underestimate the value of our customers. As a third-generation family-owned business, Magnus Toyota has been operating here in the Ozarks for over 50 years. When we make a new deal, we make a new friend. Stop in and visit us today and see why our customers say we're the best. Magnus Toyota, your hometown Toyota dealer on Highway 65 North in Harrison. Really, all of my life, I've had really terrible teeth. I knew that eventually I was going to have to have dentures. I asked around and found out that Dr. Wanda McCaskey was just an an amazing person. When she said that she can help me and told me the process of how everything works, I was thrilled. Dr. Wanda McCaskey is an amazing lady. She's so much fun to be around. It was just a pleasant experience all the way around. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. There are many ways to prepare for retirement, and how you plan for your retirement years takes solid planning. Community First Bank is here to help. With IRAs, CDs, money market accounts, and many other investment options, Community First Bank could hold the key to unlocking your financial future. Stop by and visit with one of our retirement specialists at one of our convenient locations, and let us help you decide which option is best for you. Community First Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. State of Arkansas versus Christopher Morris. Good morning. Mr. Morris, you're uh, down for arraignment today in front of this court, just to say. Making the appointment of the public defender's office uh, to represent Mr. Re- Mr. Morris is for arraignment on charges of possession with controlled substance. Class D felony, possession of drug paraphernalia, Class D felony, possession of controlled substance, Class A misdemeanor, and obstructing governmental operations, a Class C misdemeanor. On those charges, how does Mr. Uh, Morris plead? Waive formal reading of the charge under a plea of not guilty. The arrest date listed on this case is October 24th of 2015. He's done on this court's docket. The court will set this matter uh, for trial. Um, Let's see. What's our September trial date? Or August. Your September trial date is September 19th. The week of September the 19th. The trial week in August is August, the week of August 22nd. Okay. I'm setting it for uh, September the 19th because of the lateness in the uh, speedy trial period. The court's going to find that's a, that the, there will be no continuances. That's for, that's a firm trial setting. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not done yet. There's also a, uh, I'll set it for a pretrial 
on August 19th, and I'm going to set it down for a reappearance on uh, July 8th by scheduling order. Those will be the dates set down for this case. All right, Mr. Morris, you you wish to speak? <coughs> I think in front of Judge Putnam last week, and I thought all this was already been taken care of. Well, this case that was filed against you is on is assigned by random selection to, to this court's docket. So, you're in, the, in terms of this one case, you're you're uh, uh, on my docket. So, I that's that's the set. You're scheduling for this case. I don't know if you don't have other cases. If they may be on Judge Putman's docket. Judge, I'm saying I already went up and uh, got reinstated and, and commission on this. It was on his revocation, Judge. He got sent to revocation last week. Okay. That's on your revocation case. This is a brand new charge. All right. Yes, Mr. Russo. Judge, I'd like two things to address. First, the issue of bond, and the other is to set this for an immediate suppression hearing. The uh, In reading the uh, paperwork that's been provided to me by the state, I see a glaring suppression issue that may dispose of this case. Okay. All right. You want it sooner than... Then August 19th. Then. Judge, I'd like to set the uh, suppression hearing for the next available court date. Well, in light of that, Judge, and Mr. Morris's history of failure to appear and his long record before the court, we'd ask that the bond remain where it is. We'll have a suppression hearing in two weeks. <coughs> on the 27th? Yes. We'd be ready to go on the 27th, Judge. May 27th will be the, the day of the hearing. Courts, uh, the court agrees with the state's position that we'll just leave the bond where it is at this time. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. You may be excused, Mr. Morris. Thank you, sir. 2015 153, State of Arkansas versus Andrew Raines.
it appears from the from the file that the uh, that Mr. Rains was uh, taken back into custody uh, on uh, this charge on May 5th of 2016. And I'm look, looking back, it appears that it was Judge Putman entered the first, it arraigned him on the original charges August 21st, uh, and then of 2015, and then it was on September 4th was uh, the first date he's noted as failing to appear and a warrant was issued. So he's, he is a... Judge, I don't think I he think was... I think there's a substantial period in here. I don't think he was actually arraigned, Judge. Uh, according to the paperwork I have, it appears he appeared on the 21st day of August, and it looked like it was for some pretrial motions. Uh, he did not appear. His appearance was an excuse, and they issued an alias. He was ordered to reappear on September 4th for arraignment, and he did not appear. And the uh, alias was uh, confirmed and ordered at that time. I don't, I don't have anything to indicate that he was actually ever arraigned. I see what you're saying. I was just looking at the Judge Putman's form, which said, marked it as an arraignment. But I see what you're saying. And the court's going to note that on September 4th, he failed to appear. Uh, and subsequent to that, an uh, alias warrant was issued in that matter and was outstanding until the 5th of May. So there's a substantial period of delay in here. Uh, court will note, uh, note uh, public defender is representing Mr. Raines on the charges contained in the in the information which are possession of a controlled substance methamphetamine class D felony possession of a controlled substance marijuana class A misdemeanor <coughs> operation of a vehicle without a license plate uh, refusal to submit to chemical test uh, those are the charges against him on those charges how does the defendant now plead waive formal reading enter a plea of not guilty I'm setting him down to reappear in front of Judge Putman on May May 20th to get on Judge Putman's scheduling order. You may be excused, sir. Uh, speak for a moment, Your Honor. Yes. <coughs> not at this point. Not when you've been absent for uh, you know run off and not and been subject to an alias warrant for. Over a year, no, it wasn't a year. It was uh, several months, uh, ten months. So uh, I, I don't think so. I'll let I'll let Judge Putman, who's the court that's handling your case and who issued the alias warrant for you, I'll let him uh, set a bond if he chooses to do so. Pardon? Yes, sir. Uh, so called arraignment had come about. I went to the courthouse at one o'clock when I was supposed to be there. When I got there, there was no judge or nobody in, in the building. I went back downstairs and spoke with the clerk in the bottom, and there was also an officer down there. I'm not sure what the day was, so I don't have the paperwork any longer. But there was a two week time frame went by, Your Honor, that lasted, and somehow in that two week time frame, is when I missed my court date. I was unaware of the date. The reason why every what the reason why this whole thing took place because it was close to Christmas and I didn't want to miss seeing my baby. And that's that's the long end of the story. I didn't know the court date. When I came to the court date that I had, there was nobody in the office. All right. And two then two weeks after that I found that I was number four on the most wanted list. I wanted to see my baby for Christmas. That I'm sorry. But that's why, that's why this whole thing takes place, Your All right. Well, uh, that, that's going to end up between you and Judge Putman as to what happens at this point. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it. Uh, leave, you're being held without bond until you get before Judge Putman next week. Uh, and he can, he can, we've arranged you, uh, and he can, he can figure out, uh, 
how much of that that story he wants to take into account in setting a bond, etc. So that's that's uh, where this matter stands at this point. All right. Thank you. Best of us make mistakes. So when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Our first kid. It's time for a new car. A new safe car. Exactly. Well, the Camry's really safe. Ten airbags. You could even get one with a blind spot monitor. I don't know if we need all that. Maybe we should get it. Yeah, you never know. During Toyota time, get $2,000 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a new 2016 Camry. Safe travels. Thank you. Toyota, let's go places. Fly higher. Go further. Do more. Take it to the next level with Polaris. Whether you're chasing unforgettable memories, manhandling a mountain of work, or pushing the limits of work and play, we've got the perfect machine built just for you. Now's the time to get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Spring Sales Event. Come see us at 824 North Main in Harrison. Brewster the Rooster here, thanking all of you for offering up a name for me and enjoying the great deal on crispy, crunchy chicken from the Chicken House in Harrison. And an extra special thank you to Joe Carter for coming up with my name, Brewster the Rooster. I'm telling you, I know the family is proud. So come see me at the Chicken House and enjoy a great meal for lunch or dinner or both. The Chicken House, the official home of me, Brewster the Rooster. State of Arkansas versus Travis Blackwell. Judge, Mr. Blackwell's been a fugitive for a couple months. He was picked up. He is set for jury trial on Monday. He was booked into the jail on May 10th at 9.09 p.m. Mr. Russo, have you uh, had any conversation with Mr. Blackwell at this point? No, Your Honor. Court notes that Mr. Blackwell did not appear on March 4th. Uh, there was some thought he might be in another jail, so we ordered him to reappear on April 1st. And at that time, Mr. Russo, well, actually, he, he Mr. Russo appeared on his behalf on March 18th, uh, and we excused his appearance and ordered him to reappear on April 1st. On April 1st, he did not appear, and an alias warrant was issued on April 1st. Uh, at this point, uh, Mr. Russo, are you in a position to take this matter to trial next week? It, no, Your Honor, because uh, not only have I not met with my client, but we still don't have complete discovery yet. Uh, we don't have a lab report. And until I can meet with my client and obtain a lab report, uh, we're not ready for trial. Okay. All right.
remind me what our June trial date is. Is it the end of the month? We have two weeks, June 6th <coughs> and June 13th. June, the week of June 13th. Okay. Well, we have to have the whole week. We have the whole week of June 6th. In the week within June 13th is June 13th. Yeah. You can have two days. But you can't have two days. That's right. Judge, I would anticipate if we went to trial, this would be a one-day trial. And in looking at my calendar, Judge, I could do it. I can't do it the week of the sixth, Judge, but I could do it the week of the thirteenth. I think most of the cases set the week of the sixth belong to you. Guess what? If it's the eighth, ninth, or tenth, I won't be there. I could do the sixth or seventh, Judge. Is the judicial conference the end of that week, Paula? No, it's, it's the end. The, next it's week. the judicial conference is uh, it's the fifteenth to the seventeenth. Okay. Of May. June. Of June. Of June. Yeah. It's June. It's the judicial conference is in con conjunction with the state bar association meeting, which is always in June, Mr. Carter. I thought there was something though at the end of next week. We're talking about uh, June. Um, we have other stuff set already. Judge, I'd be available the 6th or 7th or any time during the week of the 13th. What, what's going on? Where, when is the Cook trial set? Judge, that was I was going to try to uh, bump that. I filed a motion for continuance to uh, the trial period in July or August. Uh, that trial is set for June 6th. It was set for that week. Well, that's what I was counting on, getting that one out of the way. Um, we already have a pretty full docket in July of trials. Um, I'll set it down. Uh, can you do June 13th? Yes, sir. Let's set it down for June 13th. And Chris, I'm going to need that lab report. Made a note. Okay. Okay, Mr. Blackwell, the, the court is, is advising you that the court is resetting your trial, which is set to begin next Monday. We're setting it for June, uh, for June 13th, and I'm going to find that's an, uh, an excludable period uh, due to the fact that you are a fugitive up until uh, you were arrested on this ma uh, most recently. So uh, that'll be the date this matter is rescheduled. Um, and I'll put it down for any pretrial hearings. will be set for June 3rd. And Judge, in order to be ready for that pretrial, I will need that lab report. Right. Mr. Carter, get hold of the lab and let's get them, get them moving. Sir, is that a the bond? Judge, before he asks for a bond, let me run through his failure to appear history, which is long. He had a 2009 failure to appear in Boone County. Two thousand fourteen failure to appear in Newton County and two thousand and twelve failure to appear in Boone County. All in uh, admittedly all in, in district court, but that's three in a seven year or this will be the fourth one in a seven year period.
Now, at this point, Mr. Blackwell, the court has uh, already lost one trial date and had to continue the case because of your non-appearance in court. The court is, is continuing it to the first available trial date, and the court's not, not disposed to set a bond on this matter at this time. Uh, your, your attorney needs to visit with you, and this way he'll know where to find you uh, so that this case can be prepared for trial as promptly as possible. So the answer is no, I'm not setting a bond at this time. You may be excused. 2016-34, State of Arkansas versus Tanner Crook. Your Honor, Mr. Crook is represented by Mr. Hancock. Um, there was the anticipation he was going to plea. The problem is he's just picked up a new case, and Mr. Hancock needs to review that case with Mr. Crook to see if they can include that in the wrap-up. Uh, as such, Your Honor, Mr. Hancock's requesting that this matter be set over and that uh, Mr. Crook be held at the... Uh, Boone County Jail until Mr. Hancock can meet with him next week. I'll set this this matter is as I as I review the case file, this matter is on the division three docket. So the court is, is setting it down for reappearance in front of Judge Putman on uh, May twentieth. Uh, you may be excused, sir. Crystal clear mountain streams, river rapids, and rolling hills with endless valleys. The beauty of the Ozarks we often take for granted. At Magnus Toyota, we never underestimate the value of our customers. As a third-generation family-owned business, Magnus Toyota has been operating here in the Ozarks for over 50 years. When we make a new deal, we make a new friend. Stop in and visit us today and see why our customers say we're the best. Magnus Toyota, your hometown Toyota dealer on Highway 65 North in Harrison. Introducing two new families of ATVs from Yamaha. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700. The new Grizzly offers increased power and performance to deliver more exploration and more adventure. The new Kodiak 700 features legendary Yamaha reliability for more productivity and more value. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700 ATVs. All with more than ever before. Two thousand sixteen dash twenty four, State of Arkansas versus uh, Austin Angel. Just now. Your Honor, I spoke, with, I spoke with Boone County yesterday and was told he'd be brought over. Apparently, they like Carroll County. Come get him. Well, I know he was in Carroll County last week. They were supposed to go get him yesterday. Did they not? According to the jailer, I was informed he's in jail in Carroll County. Very well. Mr. Angel's before the court for a first appearance on a, on a uh, charge that's set for trial in September, the week of September 19th, and pre-trial August 19th. Uh, what's the status of the case? This is a status hearing. Your Honor, the uh, discovery has been completed in this issue. Uh, we have numerous disks and information. The prosecutor and I have visited about this case. And it's my understanding they had extended us initial plea offer. That's being revised. Um, what we would like to do, Judge, is if we could bring this back. His next reappearance is not scheduled to August 19th. But if we could bring this back on uh, May 27th, there's a possibility we could have a disposition worked out by then. 
And now that I have complete discovery and a revised offer, that would give me the opportunity to, to meet with Mr. Angel and uh, possibly resolve this. Put him down. I'll put him down to reappear on May 27th. Defendant may be excused. Bart, go ahead. Uh, I was going to see about a bond reduction. I have work locked up when I get out. I have a have an address to the next office. I've been here since January 4th. And since this is an impossible way. Austin, what you're currently charged with carries a minimum mandatory seven years in prison without the possibility of parole. And right now, that's all the state's offering you is seven years without the possibility of parole. Uh, I've been talking to them, and I'm trying to get that modified and changed, but they're not, they haven't budged off that as of yet. Bond has already been lowered in this case uh, once by this court. What's changed in the circumstances? Judge, what's changed is that based upon discovery of I've received an investigation by the state that this was a uh, hoax robbery and that it actually wasn't a true aggravated robbery. This was an inside job that was uh, done by the clerk at the store and as such judge the initial elements that were contained in the uh, affidavit that the clerk was in fact robbed turned out not to be true and it's my understanding charges are now pending against the clerk and as such judge it looks like there may be a modification of the charges coming but that has not occurred as of yet uh, because the state was going to do a little more research as to the extent of my client's alleged involvement. Mr. Carter, what do you say on bond? Judge, because I believe we will resolve the case in two weeks, this is a serious charge at the moment. It involved use of a fire. I would ask that the bond remain where it is. Well, in, in light of the <coughs> the relatively prompt uh, review of this matter on the on the 27th the court will will go along with that and leave the bond where it is at this time uh, we'll review it again on the 27th uh, particularly if if the charges aren't resolved on that date then the court the court will review bond again thank you Your Honor. All right. you may be excused sir Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. There are many ways to prepare for retirement, and how you plan for your retirement years takes solid planning. Community First Bank is here to help. With IRAs, CDs, money market accounts, and many other investment options, Community First Bank can hold the key to unlocking your financial future. Stop by and visit with one of our retirement specialists at one of our convenient locations, and let us help you decide which option is best for you. Community First Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Two thousand fifteen two twenty six two thousand sixteen dash six State of Arkansas versus uh, Garrett Angel.
court is making the appointment of the public defender's office. Is there a, are both of these cases now on Division Four docket? Judge, actually, uh, we're asking that both cases be placed on. One has already been transferred to Division Three docket. We'd ask the court to transfer the new case to the Division Three docket as well. Mr. Hancock will be handling his representation. Judge, on Mr. Angel, for the court's information, um, we have filed an uh, information charging him with some drug offenses and criminal trespass, um, which will be a third case. I don't know if the sheriff's office has served the warrant on him or not. Well, let, let me let, let's get straightened out what's what's happening with this case. My concern is we have a case that dates from uh, that dates from May of 2015. So it's basically a year old that's okay, I'm, it's been transferred to the Division Three docket and the court's now being asked to transfer the, the newer case that dates from January Actually, it dates from November of 2015 uh, to the Division Three docket as well. Where does this? I'm just trying to figure out where this matter stands. Mr. Carlin was the alias that was issued on May the 8th. What date was it changed? Uh, it's probably in which case? 2016-6. Judge, Mr. Angel was a co-defendant with the Millers. And, of course, I have Stephen Miller, who's on this court's docket. I understand about that. Uh, I do not have, Polly, I do not have the return of the obviously alias. He's in custody. <coughs> The other alias, I don't have the date that it was given to him, but it was file marked May 9. Yeah, it's, it's going to be primarily Judge Putman's problem. But I just, I'm just looking at this, this this older case, which is already assigned to the Judge Putman's docket. I, I think he had it, has it set. Court's going to transfer case 2016-6 uh, to the Division Three docket. I'm going to set both of them down for reappearance in front of Judge Putman on uh, on May 20th uh, for him to. Uh, I'd like to point it out as we transfer these the dates involved. Just, just if it's for some reason not gotten you know clear on his docket, I think there, there's potentially. You know, it hasn't arrived yet, but I think it's potentially getting close to a speedy trial issue on that, that earlier case. So I think that needs to be reviewed. So I'll, I'll try to speak to Judge Putman about that. You may be excused, sir. From the revocation list, we have 2012-48, State of Arkansas versus Aaron Conrad. Good morning. Uh, 
appointed the public defender's office is appointed is this the first appearance yes your honor all right Mr. Conrad, the court would advise you that, that um, a petition to revoke your suspended sentence or probation was filed on April 29, 2016. It alleges, it alleges that uh, several bases for revoking your sentence uh, on the, the primary one is the alleged violation of the law. Uh, first, it alleges that on August 25th of 2015, uh, you had violated the law by being in possession of drug paraphernalia. Uh, and in, on, then later it alleges, uh, secondly, it alleges on April 25th of 2016, uh, an alleged violation of the law based on a, a battery in the first degree and carrying a weapon, all occurring here in Boone County. Also, it uh, alleges a, as a violation that you failed to report January 7th of 2016 and violation of the requirement that you not be in possession of a firearm. Uh, that dates is dated as April 25th of 2016. So those are the allegations against you on those allegations. How do you now plead? Not true, young. Believe not true as noted. This matter will be set down for uh, <coughs> I'm going to set it down for hearing uh, May 27th. Judge, I did receive a call from the probation officer this morning. They would ask that uh, he be held no bond until the 27th due to the nature of the number of pending criminal cases. Do they, do they consider him a flight risk? I think that's the primary consideration in terms of bond. Well, Judge, this is on a revocation, however. Right. That's number one. And I I'm don't told, know that that makes a big difference, Mr. Carter. I, uh, I have been told they consider him a flight risk. I don't have his criminal history in front of me, so I can't tell the court how many times he's failed to appear. And right. since I don't have his revocation petition in front of me, I can't tell you how many times he has not appeared for regular meetings. I, I, I will hold him, I'll continue to hold him without bond until the 27th uh, on that date. If he's not, if the matter's not disposed of, we'll be uh, reviewing the issue of bond. All right. You may be excused, sir. 2016-130, State of Arkansas versus Kurt Grunewald. This case is uh, was a, the arraignment was done on May sixth. The uh, arrest date appears to have been March fourth of two thousand sixteen. The arraignment was done on May sixth of two thousand sixteen, and uh, set down today to get on a scheduling order of this court. Court will set it for a trial during the week of. 
setting it for trial during the week of December 12th and setting it for uh, pre-trial uh, on October 28th and then it'll set it down for reappearance in front of this court on September 2nd. Those will be the date, the primary dates set in the in the scheduling order. Uh, there'll be a written scheduling order issue. Anything else to come before the court today? Your Honor, I don't know. Um, I'm currently being assigned to his case. I don't know what his bond is set at. I just asked the court to address the issue of bond. Judge, I believe it's set at $100,000, which in light of the circumstances of the case and Mr. Grunewald's prior criminal history, seems uh, relatively low. This court set the bond. Right. where the bond is set. The bond was set by the court based on the uh, facts set out in the affidavit. Are there any new facts or any, any matters that have changed since the court set the bond? Not that I'm aware of, Your Honor. All right. That's where the bond will remain then. You may be excused, sir. on TKO8 Television is brought to you by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. KTKO Channel 8 Harrison, local television worth watching.